Ah, the bridge is oh. All right. Well, it is our last and final day here in central New York. We are leaving tomorrow. And I had a decision to make because I had the option to go thrifting, which is what I felt like I needed to do, what I should have done, what I needed to do because I know that you guys really love thrifting here on this channel or what I wanted to do and that was go to Madison Bachville Antique Week again because I know that we had not finished and I decided that I was gonna do what I wanted to do and that was come back to Madison Bachville Antique Week and continue searching for treasures today what we did is we drove all the way down the strip all the way to the very end and we're starting at the very end like the very last row of tents which was actually kind of surprising I was like oh wait no there's more tents up there let's keep driving so we're parked at the very end and we're gonna work our way back is to move the truck so we're figuring this out it's our first time and we're learning as we go so we're gonna go uh, shop these tents and see what we can find here we go <laughs> and you found the shushing bunnies. <laughs> different, cute. Different glaze. Yeah, I like them. How much? Five bucks. There's a little gum holder. These are so fun. You need this since you're always chewing gum. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. Oh, the dragon is pretty epic. The dragon is so epic. I actually came over here to check out that dragon. The birds are really cute. Okay, awesome. The birds are darling. Alright, now I'll grab a couple of figures. That dragon is cool. Okay, great. There is a vomit elephant. Andrew, vomit elephant with googly eyes. Is that what that is? Yes. Made in Arizona. <laughs> I just noticed the little tiki guy. I think maybe we should add him because he's tiki. Get them all ready together so Alright, I'm gonna add this at the last minute. <laughs> Alright. This dude has a ton of glass. What's that? I should have grabbed my I know Why it's cold, house? isn't it? Yeah. I'm hoping that's heavy enough for her. It's chilly. But as soon as the sun comes up, it'll start warming up. Foo dogs. Lots of food dogs. This is pretty neat. Ooh. What is that? Is that an ashtray? I guess, maybe. It's kind of fancy. <laughs> Look at this little one. I think it's missing a fishing pole. A few Italian spaghettis. Taiwan. That's glass. Alabastro glass. I like that. Go pick that up. Hmm. Yeah, that's a nice one. How much you got on the uh, canvas bags? Liquid pottery, Silver City, North Carolina. Twenty two for the pair. North Carolina pottery can be pretty good. I don't. I've never heard of that one before. Twenty dollars on a set of three. The entire set with the decanter and six of those sells for about 25. 
right, I think we're gonna go check out this Cherry Valley auction barn. But there's more uh, more tents down that way too. Well, oh, has a stick. <laughs> the barn looked like mostly Andrew things, so we sent him in, and we're waiting out here with our twig. Very Your exciting. Stick. It's very exciting. It has leaves attached. these two. What do you think of this? Oh, he's cute. It looks kind of like Mickey Mouse. Yeah. A vintage Mickey. Eight dollars on that. Then we've got all the Echo Agate. I love this. That's a nice piece. Maybe I'll take that one. This pin is kind of great. It's a little worn, but it's like articulated. Kind of reminds me of Trafari. I don't know. It was in here. Here's another fun one. What else do I have? There's a Christmas tree. It looks like all of the stones are there. Oh, it's Avon. Meh, I like it anyway. I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> Scotty Dog ring holder. And I'm gonna pass all this off to Andrew because there's a case over there with coins in it. And I'll let him figure out the coins and stuff. Alright, so I'm digging through these boxes over here. I just found this, which is a sterling perfume. And then this shell dish. So I'm gonna see this here. Oh, girl. Lola bean. <laughs> All right, I think I'm. I think I'm good now. Oh wait, here's a little ship. You like ships? Oh no, maybe not. <laughs> it's a monopoly piece. Okay, I'm good now. <laughs> Neat though, isn't it? All right, so we got that whole lot of jewelry, the sterling silver uh, perfume bottle, and also the shell dish for 10 bucks. Andrew brought it up and asked how much for this. The guy told him 10 bucks. Can't beat that. That was kind of exciting. I was expecting it to be like, oh, 65 on the perfume and this, that, and the other, but $10. Everything is a dollar in here. All right, well, we have moved on to another field. And of course, just as the sun was coming up, <laughs> it went behind the clouds again. We found another sweatshirt for Laurel in the car. So hopefully that keeps her nice and toasty warm. We've got our tie-dye socks on. <laughs> I think she's ready to go. So I got the windmills in the distance. Pretty cool. All right, here we go. That's gorgeous. Forty-five on that. I love the facets. Oh, that one's signed. Oh, it's Val St. Lambert. Twenty-five. Oh my goodness! Look at this fella. Forty-four. He's so cute. That is so cute. Island Stoneware Scotland with a frog on it. Yeah, that, uh, 
These guys are so fun. Very dapper gentleman. <laughs> stay. That's really fun. Glass bird mounted on wood. on the more craft. I think you're supposed to make a pile of hair because nothing is marked. No. But thank you for showing me. That's really cute. No, there's a signature on it. What does it say? Handmade in Finland. Okay, that's what I thought. Doing this one handed. Shove that in there. There's a cricket. I know she can't. There's no time. There's no time. Okay. <laughs> nah. She won't. She's like, nope. I'm like, alright. You collect money and hand out bags to red flags. Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> it's broken. There's a dog on the side. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm having a hard time. Let's see what's in there. I'm amazed that she has all her fingers and all her gems. I don't know. I think she's the most exciting of them. These are all hate books. And that one over there looks like Dali. Here's the little guy. I just noticed he's got a boo boo there, but he has his original Dali sticker, which is kind of exciting. This is actually what caught my eye as I was walking by. It probably needs wash. I want to unzip it and see what's inside. I'm very curious. <laughs> What is inside? Oh, it's a pajama pet. But the pajamas still inside. How great is that? Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, you're fine. You're fine. I was like, oh, free coffee. <laughs> there's the owl body and there's the head. There's a doll in the box, but she's pretty rough. I don't know enough about dolls. All right. I think I saw most of it. Here's a bunch of bees. Those are fun though, aren't they? Lots and lots of bees. All right, so our total spend there, digging through all that stuff, was only $15. Very excited about that glass face. It was from Finland, so that could be exciting. Um, and that pajama pet, the poodle, I'm gonna get that home, get that washed. And I think that could do well as, as well. So we're gonna head into this tent now. Yep. I see lots of glass. And keep her moving. Yep, keep her moving, otherwise she gets bored. She likes to look at things. All right. I am mesmerized by the glass, 125. Peter has told me that this farm is really popular right now. They have 125 on this. I might grab that. Check out this beautiful Lot pitcher. Is that not stunning? 475 on that. And this, oh my gosh, 495. 
Oh my gosh. Victorian jewel tray. Oh, the bridge. Oh. You can't touch it. You can look. Okay, that was a mistake. <laughs> Here's another one. 150. I wish I remembered what this technique is called. Gosh, and these matching fish. 145 each on those. Oh, are they not sturdy? I wonder if they take them though. <laughs> We're running low on cash. Fish. I want to make sure. Master of the sponge is checking. I know. Well, I have a habit of picking up pieces that have damage, so he's like, you better check those over. <laughs> yeah, they are. Mm, that's nice. Argento piece. Argenta. Made in Sweden. Gustav Berg. Oh, I think that's Wilhelm Cage. I've had that before a few times. She's so nice with her puppy dog. And those are fancy. Oh wow, look how gorgeous that is. 140. I bet you that glows. We should get Andrew's black light. Because he comes prepared. Yeah, look at that. 140 on that. Yes. And there it is. Mouchoir. This quilted vase is absolutely fantastic for $150. It's the crystalline, or I'm sorry, not the crystalline, the coralline texture on that. Oh, $150. I'm just like, I'm looking at all this glass and the prices are so, are so outstanding um, compared to some of the glass we've looked at so far this week and I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, I, I, I'm having a hard time walking away and passing it up. Um, because even out by me, I can't get prices this good. Yeah, I just picked one of those up for $5 the other day. He's got, he's got 110 on it. That makes me feel pretty good. I think I'm going to get this curling as well, as long as it's in good condition. It's a little dirty, but I love it. I don't think I've ever seen these in person. These are all made of glass and they're lamps. This gentleman uh, with all this stuff was just telling us that he had just moved, he's just moved to Lancaster. So he's, he's right near us. I sold one of those recently. So that's exciting. We invited him to come to the Carlisle Glass Show. So maybe he'll set up there. All the more reason for you guys to come. <laughs> Is 165. That's like a watermelon. Mm. Having a hard time. <laughs> it's that FOMO, you know. The FOMO of missing out on good prices because when I go to the next tent, they're gonna be three times as much. Look at this. That's that's outstanding. How much on that? Crack on each side. Wow. That's gorgeous. 375 on that clock. There is a crack on each side though. Alright, I think I'm gonna do this one as well. Does this one glow? No, it looks like it should. Yeah. But I don't think it does. Yeah. Nope. I didn't have my black light with me when I bought it. I thought that would, but it didn't. It's still this really stunning. Oh, I bet. Yeah, that's the last pattern. Very rare. Oh, gosh. All right, I'll take this as well. This is really neat. It's got a kitty cat on it. That is outstanding. Wow. 
All right. Um, I should probably figure out what our total is. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at it. 28. That's only 2,800. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. All right, this might be the final piece. I just keep coming back to it. I love the blue. So, all right. I keep coming back to these. 325, what is this here? That has a signature on it. It's like acid etched. It says Nancy Dom, but I don't know. I don't know if that is or not. And that, I know there's a lot of knockoffs that makes me nervous. This is Czechoslovakia. It's really pretty though. Ooh, look at how vibrant it is on the inside. 325. I'll grab that because I kept looking at that. I'll just grab the pieces that I wanted and I was just reluctant to go to overboard. <laughs> so look at this. Can you get the opening glass too? I think so. That's a great piece also. Yeah, the tumble up. Just with the underplate. Yeah, I'll walk with you. All right, so we'll leave it at that. All right, well, guess who we just ran into again? All right, it's, it's prime time. It's time for another prime time pick out of a prime time. Out of its triple, giant boxes. Triple nested boxes here. <laughs> but this is really cool. This is a cast iron. Uh, it's a matchstick holder and the cool thing about it, well there's actually several things, you see these little grooves on it, you actually take the matches and strike it on the grooves of the feet oh, so that you can neat. light the matches and it's double sided Sweet. and even when you look at it from the side the way they set it up is that you know, you're always going to see some aspect of the yeah. face. Yeah. So cast iron, it's hand painted, it's amazing. I absolutely love this. So um, I got this for 15. They wanted 17 bucks on yeah. it, so I got it for 15. And I, I think I could probably get 50 out of it. So Sweet. it's just another cool piece. That is really neat. Yeah, probably, probably do really well around Halloween, especially. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I love anything that has like a devil face on yeah. it, especially now, is, is perfect. So yeah. yeah. So just one of many awesome finds here, so. Fantastic. <laughs> I can't believe we ran into you again. Yeah, I'm just, uh, you know, I, well, I keep randomly sneaking up on you every <laughs> single time. Uh, I, I, yeah, I just pop into the scene. I told you I was going to do that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Just, with all your boxes. Yeah, with all my boxes. That's the funny thing. I, I'm 6'6", 250 pounds, and I sneak up on people. Yeah, it's, just it's crazy. crazy. Uh, like a ninja. <laughs> a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Laurel. She's like, name me, name me. All right, well our total spend there with that glass vendor was 2100 well, A little bit less than that, but I feel like we got some really fantastic pieces for a great deal. And uh, I kind of struggled a little bit, but when you get a deal like that, I guess you just have to go with it and buy what you find. Because uh, I usually can't find glass for those prices. Um, so I just had to buy it while I could. So I'm really excited for that. And I'm really excited to sell those things because I think I can get pretty good money for that so I think I'm gonna end it here um, we just ran into Dom primetime treasure hunter and uh, we're gonna do a little bit of shopping you guys gonna have to wait for that video and uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow so long